Hey there guys, today we're going to be doing a very quick overview of how to get the management software for the TP-Link TLSG108E switch running on Linux. Uh, unfortunately, TP-Link made a mistake in my opinion of only including Windows software for this switch, which really is a bad move since I assume most system admins are running Linux. Uh, so in this quick tutorial, we're going to show you how to run that .exe on here. So it turns out it's just a Java file after all. So um, all you really need is the .exe. Now this is not the one downloaded from the TP-Link website, or the, well, the one that comes with the install CD. This .exe file will be in the description of the video below. You get this from the installer. So whenever you install the TP-Link software, this is what gets extracted. So you can get this yourself, you don't have to use my download link, but you'd have to install under a Windows environment, and then copy this file over. Uh, but for ease of use, I just put it in the description. You can download it right there. So one of the first steps we're going to have to do is we're going to have to rename this from a .exe to a .jar. You'll see that changes into the little box uh, icon there. Now, since it's a .jar, it can be executed by Java. Unfortunately, uh, Java that comes with Ubuntu does not work with this. So we need to um, download Java. And you'll see here, if you just Google download Java for Linux, uh, this web page pops up. And you'll see the Linux x64 download, that's what I used for Ubuntu. So uh, if you download that, it gives you a .tar.gz file. So I already have this set up, and I know the location of it. So I'm going to go um, downloads, and I know that it's, I renamed the directory that it ex uh, extracted to as Java. And you'll see in here we have a bunch of files. We're interested in the bin directory, so cd bin. And you'll see we have Java. So that is the type of Java we want to use. We do not want to use the Java that comes default with uh, Ubuntu. So to run this program here, you're going to want to uh, run a command like this. You're going to want to type the path to the Java that we just downloaded. And then dash jar and then the path to the dot .jar up here. So for me, my Java is in downloads Java bin Java, dash jar, documents, and then this right here is where the actual utility is. So in my case, it's in documents, programs, tp-link, and then it's named easy smart configuration dot .jar. So you press enter, and you'll see the program pop up, which it looks just like under uh, Windows. Now, uh, my switch is on a static network, so let me just connect to that real quick, and you'll see my switch pop up. But, no, you're not, because you're going to see this message that says, no switch exists on the local area network. So, we need to run a quick IP tables command before we can get this fully working. So, um, we'll see here. I'll leave this in the description as well, but basically we need to tell IP tables... Uh, to pre-route UDP port 29809 and then uh, to your local IP address. Basically, for the tech details, the program for some reason binds to 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and that's why you can't find anything. So in this situation, uh, my switch is on a static network and my PC is always going to be 172.16.93.22. So I'm going to run this command here uh, and I'm going to enter my IP address right here. As you can see, I've already done this. Let me just change this. I deleted it for the demonstration. But uh, yeah, you can see all you have to do is run this command. Just change this IP here to the IP, LAN IP of your PC that will be accessing the switch. We run that, and then let's run the program again. It'll open up, and sure enough, there's my switch on the network and I can log in just like normal Whoops. and there we go uh, just like uh, just like on Windows so um, this is how to run the TP-Link configuration utility on Linux I hope this guide helps someone and uh, yeah thanks for